Hello everyone, it is Kaylin, and welcome back to my playthrough of Danganronpa. We are right in the middle of the second class trial. I'm not doing great, it's fine. We're gonna keep going. We're trying to figure out how to pin uh, the broken handbook the right now. Uh, what he says I'm not, correct. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not sure what... You broke your own handbook. I need to... <laughs> what is the contradiction here, actually? Then that proves that what Makoto said is right. Well, my goddamn handbook works just fine! Did I hit the stupid whisper? See? Look! Makoto was wrong after all! Mondo wouldn't hurt a fly! I I'm really not sure on this one. Like, I'm sure Mondo's handbook broke during their sauna showdown. How can I prove that? If I have Chihiro's handbook? Or is it because Chihiro's handbook is missing and it should be in the dead? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm gonna be honest. Let's test Makoto's assertion. I can't remember which ones I even did correct, literally just a few Mondo, minutes ago, so I'm probably gonna just mess handbook. this up again. In other words, if Mondo's handbook is actually broken, then that proves that what Makoto said is right. Well, my goddamn handbook works just fine. Okay, I'm just really slow. I can't hit it. I can't aim. That one's wrong. The first one's wrong. They're all wrong. Shoot. Let's test Makoto's assertion. If what he says is correct, you broke your own. In other words, if then that proves. That well, my goddamn handbook works. No, that's wrong. Did I seriously finally figure this out? I swear I tried that one. I'm going to be honest. Mondo, I feel dumb. <laughs> the handbook you have right now, is it really yours? The fuck is that supposed to mean? The broken handbook that was in the main hall. Isn't that one actually yours? What the heck are you talking about? What I mean is, I think Mondo swapped his handbook out for one that actually works. I think he took Leon's handbook and replaced it with his own. After all, Monokuma said himself that Leon's handbook never should have broken. That's right! The punishment it suffered wasn't nearly enough to destroy it. So then, the broken handbook in the main hall is actually Mondo's. Which would mean that the handbook Mondo has right now okay. is actually Okay, I don't- yours. my brain was yes. going in a totally different direction for this for some reason. In my head I was like, thinking that he was using Chihiro's handbook now. But doesn't that violate the school regulation that says loaning out your handbook is prohibited? Well, here's how I look at it. There is a rule about loaning your handbook to another student, but if they're dead, they're not a student. It's kind of a great area, I admit. <laughs> but no worries. If anything, it just makes things more interesting. As such, I decree that exchanging handbooks with a corpse is not a violation of the rules. Well, Mondo, if I'm wrong about this, you're welcome to say so. I'm happy to admit I made a mistake, but... Son of a bitch. Aw, this makes me sad. I should have hung out with Mondo. What's wrong, bro? C come on, tell him he's wrong. You are wrong. You have to be wrong. Everything you just said is wrong. You made it all up. Okay, then why don't we look back on this case one more time from the beginning? That way, everything will become clear. And we'll all see if I was right or wrong. Okay, let's see. Chihiro got her stuff, got spotted by Celeste. It was cute. Celeste spotted the track jacket, is what it is right now. Yes. And then she hit it. Say goodbye. Bathroom. All right. So, okay, I'm not sure which, that might not be the right one. 
Okay, yeah, it is. Girls in... Or no, no, no. Not girls. We didn't go in the girls. I'm wrong. <laughs> Boys. Boys in... Chihiro greets... Mondo... Puts stuff in the locker... Comes up behind... Pumping iron came up behind blood splatter. Okay, I'm just that looks like it comes after, like this. Oh, maybe that's the... Okay, I think it's showing the blood splatter. Drops it. Caesar, Act 3, rolls stuff up. Probably... Uh, takes the poster down, it looks like? Takes her, the card, oh, probably at the girls' room. Oh, wait, maybe that's the, does it show the mailbox anyway? No, okay, that's that one. Okay, there's always an extra one, I think. In that in girls' room card clicks in. I'm not sure what this one is. Oh, this one is harder. Let's see. Oh, maybe it puts the poster up? Why would you put the poster up before putting her down? She's there, rolls it up, gets the poster, grabs Chihiro, goes to the girls' door, goes in, puts the poster up, lays her down on the rug, I guess. Tired, room is set up, room is set up, Byakuya comes in, comes into- oh, maybe that's the girls' door. No, 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 because he's already in. Okay, okay. Okay, comes in with it, ties her up. Paints bloodless. Where is that one? She's there. And then... This supposed to be the sauna. Throws it in to the sauna. Maybe. <laughs> or maybe that's here. Oh, I. <laughs> this one is definitely harder. Just because I'm not like sure on some of the images. Like, is this supposed to be the last in the sauna, maybe? Tosses it in, looks. Does it ask you to reenact if you're wrong? I just want to go back to the start and I, I, I don't know, this doesn't feel right yet. <laughs> Okay, back at the start. Duffel bag. Celeste. Spots the track jacket. Hides it real fast. Takes off. Okay. 
goes to the bathrooms, goes into the boys, goes in. Greets Mondo. Comes, puts stuff in the locker. Sitting there, pumping. Stands up, goes to a tag. Blood splatter, blood splatter, blood splatter. Drops this, <laughs> drops the dumbbell. What are we missing? We have dumbbell, which I honestly don't know where that one would go yet. If it does at all. Okay, so there's more than just one extra this time. Door and this. That one's up on here, so I don't think we need it. Okay. She's dead. It's on the floor. We're gonna roll up the rug. We're gonna take the poster. It does look like it's coming down, right? I think so. We're gonna pick her up. We're gonna go to the girls' room. Use the one we stole to get in. Okay, so put up the poster. Put her down. I think that's right. I don't know what else would make sense there. I think the only other one would be this, and I don't think that's right. So, room is good. Both rooms are right. Yakia comes in with the extension cord. Suspends her. Paints it. And then... I feel like this one I'm just not sure. I feel like this is definitely the one like uh. Yeah, this is Act 5 is actually the one I'm the most unsure of cuz I'm pretty sure I think this is the sauna, but now that I'm looking at it, I'm not sure. Like, I kind of think it might be this one. It, it is really the only one I'm not sure of. And then this, even this one I'm not sure of. Like, I, I, these are the three that I'm like totally in between that I'm like, I'm not sure if I'm doing this right. Like this could be coming into the sauna and then like throwing it in. Yeah, I'm actually not sure. Coming in, throwing it, and then it's broken, or coming in. This one I think doesn't look right. Okay, I'm gonna go with this. Maybe I'm Just right, maybe I'm wrong. Happened. First, let's take a look back to before the incident. Okay. Last night, Celeste saw Chihiro in the warehouse, correct? At the time, she was apparently stuffing something into a duffel bag. Something was a blue tracksuit. You can confirm this, right, Celeste? With bag in hand, Chihiro headed out, even though it was officially nighttime. Okay. She made her way to the locker room, specifically the boys' locker room. But how could the victim, who was apparently a girl, access the boys' locker room? Oh no! Really? Uh... Did we do it? Is it actually that one? Ah, uh, okay, that one I was actually not unsure of at all. But it said that one was wrong. <laughs> Specifically, the boys' locker room seems like it should be right. Then I guess it is this one? That seems wrong now. 
Because why wouldn't you have a panel for the, like, boys' room? Oh, well, let's see. You. I'm not sure. With bag in hand, Chihiro headed out, even though it was officially nighttime. She made her way to the locker room, specifically the boys' locker room. But how could the victim, who was apparently a girl, access the boys' locker room? That's not right. I didn't, oh my gosh. What? Not one of these. The only other one I could say is like this one, I guess. Like, <laughs> unless it wasn't this and it was. And I just like mixed these two around. Here's exactly what happened. I'm not sure. With bag yep, hand, we did this. Okay. She made her way to the locker, but how uh -huh. did the victim? Okay, I just put them in the wrong order. Cool. All right, great. We Simple. did it. <laughs> because she was really a key, which is why he was able to use his own handbook to gain entrance to the boys' locker room. Once inside, he met with someone there. And the person he met was the one who killed him. It seems likely that the killer grabbed the nearby dumbbell, approached the unsuspecting Jihiro. That's where the blood stains on the poster and carpeting in the boys' locker room came from. It was likely in the heat of the moment. The body was arranged, but the murder itself felt unplanned. Okay, cool. Which is why the killer hurried to try and hide the act. First, Pulling up the bloodstained carpet. Then removing the bloody poster. And finally carrying the corpse into the girl's locker room. A girl's handbook was necessary to get into the locker room, of course. But this alone doesn't prove that the killer was necessarily a girl. After all, Sayaka oh, and Junko's handbook. This where the girl's store should have been? Using one of those, a boy could get into the girls' locker room without much problem. Okay, no, I was right. Cool. And that's exactly how the killer did it. With the carpet and the poster they brought with them, they got to work. They changed the layout of the boys' and girls' locker room in what you might call a crime scene switch. That could have been the end of things, but no. Yakuya discovered the body and decided to intervene in the situation, making things even more complicated. So, after stumbling on the crime scene, he went and grabbed the extension cord from the library, and then he got to work. He used the cord to string up Chihiro's lifeless body. Then, using the victim's own blood, he left a grisly message there at the scene of the crime. He wanted to create the illusion that Genocide Jack was responsible for the slaughter. Okay, this was the one that I wasn't sure about, so that's what I was like, uh... Then I think it is this one. Let's try that. Here's exactly what happened. Cool. And around the same time that the Akuya was putting together this facade, the killer, having already disposed of Chihiro's bag and other belongings, arrived at the sign. There, they planned to destroy the last piece of evidence. Chihiro's handbook. And just as the killer expected, the steamy sauna was enough to ruin the electronic gadget. Somehow, the killer knew that the handbook couldn't stand up to the heat of the sauna. And the reason they knew that is because the sauna had already wrecked their own handbook. And that's how it all played out. Isn't 
that right, Mondo Arata. Man, I'm so sad it's Mondo. I thought I had this all figured out. Wait. No. This can't be right. Where's your evidence? Brotherhood ruined. Yeah. Where's your evidence? You need evidence. You need proof. Without any proof, you can't pin any of this on him. Aw, Kiyotaka. Evidence that Mondo is the killer that already revealed itself earlier in the trial. If I can somehow show where Mondo's handbook is right now. Once I do that, everything will become clear. A new element has been added to bullet time battles. Would you like to hear more? Absolutely. Let's talk a little bit about fever time and nega time. During a bullet time battle, if you press the space key, fever time will activate and the temple will be forced to its max. At this point, even if you push the buttons at random, you won't miss. So you can push right mouse button, left mouse button, right mouse button, left mouse button, however you want to destroy the opponent's verbal assault. Okay. But this only lasts until your focus gauge runs out, so make the best possible use of your time. Of course, it wouldn't be fair if you only if only you got access to special time, right? So we've also prepared something called nega time that your opponent can use. If the opponent activates nega time during the bullet time battle, your tempo marker will disappear, making it quite a bit tougher to hit the buttons in rhythm. If you were to activate fever time at this point, no, never mind. I'm sure nothing would happen. I don't know what I was worried about. Unsurprisingly, if your action difficulty is set to gentle, the opponent wouldn't use nega time. Well then, good luck and have fun. So it sounds like you would want to use fever time during nega time. Let's see. Let's find out. Show me some evidence. You're wrong. I won't listen. I refute you. False. Show me some evidence. I won't listen. False. I refuse oh, to fault. Shit. Show me some evidence. You're wrong. Won't listen. I refute you. False. Show me some evidence. I won't listen. False. You're corrupt. Yes. Show me some evidence. This should prove it. All right, that was cool. We did it with a little bit of failure along the way, but we did it. If my thinking so far is right. Mondo must have replaced his broken handbook with Leon's. In which case, we can just check each of our handbooks right now. Once we do that, we'll... We don't gotta do that. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. I did it. I killed him. Aww. I'm upset. Yeah, I was gonna say, one of those was very not good. Okay, hey, that's good. Overall, good. I'll take it. Nice. Bro? Bro? What are you saying? I got no choice, man. After hearing all that, I gotta just... give up. Go ahead, Monokuma. Get it over with. No, tell me why. Why did you do this? Ask for the goddamn verdict. Roger that! Wait! Hold on! No waiting, no holding on. Time for the moment we've all been waiting for. Grab your lever and give it a yank. Who will you elect as the blackened this time around? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Man. But it could have been Biakia. And wouldn't that have been better? I like Mondo. This is very sad. I wasn't ready to lose him. Ah. No, what's it? It's gonna be something motorcycle related. Uh oh, this time it looks like you got it right again. Yes, it is so. The blacken that killed Chihiro Fujisaki was. Mundo Awada! Unbelievable. 
In case you're wondering, the vote was not unanimous. Kiyotaka chose the wrong answer. You're treading very close to the danger zone, Mr. Ishimaru. You need to be more careful. I, I, I refuse to believe it. There's no way, no way he would kill someone. Sorry. What, what is well, this? Why are you apologizing? Why? Why, 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 why? Well, why? Why did you do it? Now then. Well, it looks like Mondo's taken a vow of silence, so allow me to explain on his behalf. Actually, the story of the murder this time is the sad story of two men. Ha! Oh, but for anyone who doesn't really want to hear it, you can hit the control key to fast forward the text. No, I want to. I need to know why. Anyway, there was once a young boy, and his name was Chihiro Fujisaki. He had an extreme inferiority complex regarding his own lack of strength. You're so weak, even though you're a boy. He'd heard things like that as long as he could remember, and he couldn't overcome his weakness. On the contrary, he tried to hide and buried himself further and further into that weakness. To take on the fragile form of a petite young girl, he had chosen that as his way out. Um, now nobody will be able to say anything about even though you're a boy. But no matter how tightly he wrapped himself up in that shell, the inferiority complex had already taken root deep inside of him and was not so easily weeded out. As it turned out, the shell was completely empty. The complex didn't disappear. Instead, it only grew stronger and stronger. I'm weak. Weak, 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 weak. Once the killing game had begun here at the school, he had no choice but to accept this fact. After all, the world of survival is survival of the fittest. If you're not strong, you don't survive. And then the lovely and hateful Monokuma announced the revealing of the embarrassing secrets. Which, of course, included Chihiro's embarrassing secret, which I was more than willing to divulge. Even though he dresses like a girl, Chihiro is actually a boy. Hey, um... And that was something Chihiro couldn't let anyone find out, no matter the cost. If that was revealed, it would be the end. The hardened shell would crack, the armor would fall away. Without a doubt, those around him would torture him more than ever before. Everyone figured being thrust into such a dilemma must have sent him spiraling into despair. What? And yet... Uh, I'm sorry. Um, so sorry. I don't really want to talk about it right now. But, but... But I also don't want to leave things the way they are, so maybe I can talk about it later. After I try my best to become strong, then I can tell everyone. Annoyingly, he used the threat of discovery to mode himself to become stronger. That's right. Now's my chance. I want to change. I'm going to get stronger and accept who I am. Strong enough so that when someone says, even though you're a boy, I'll be okay. I'll get better. With that thought at the front of his mind, he resolved to take immediate action. And so... That day, he made the commitment to begin exercising. He was prepared to retrain his mind and body. But sadly, that would be the first and only chance he would get at it. Hey, um... When he decided to start exercising, he thought it would be good to ask for someone's help. But he wanted to tell that person his secret first, and then ask them to help him from there. And the person he went to... Yeah, that's right. It was me. <laughs> yep, it sure was. <laughs> the biker gang fella had been painfully clear about how important his manly promises were. 
So Chihiro probably figured that even if he confided in Mondo, his honor would make him keep the secret. Uh -huh. Plus, Mr. Macho Mondo was the very symbol of a strong man that Chihiro had always aspired to. Maybe talking to Mondo about it will help give me some courage. So he went. Oh, is that another wrong? Okay. So he went and asked Mondo to help him become strong. <laughs> that was his aspiration. And he thought that only with Mondo's support would he ever be able to come close to that. Correct. So then, that must be why Mondo did what he did, to keep the promise he'd made to Chihiro. Huh? Did what he did? You mean... That's why Mondo carried Chihiro from the boys' locker room into the girls' locker room? Indeed. Yes, that's exactly what I mean. Uh... Wasn't that the cover-up what he'd done? Certainly. That could have been part of it, but I don't think it was the main reason. The real purpose was to keep the promise between men he'd made to Chihiro. But... But how does moving the body keep a secret? Because... Because if everyone knew he'd been killed in the boys' locker room, then everyone would have been arguing about she got into the boys' locker room, right? Once that started up, at least a few of us would have immediately begun to suspect his identity, so... He tried to protect Tahiro's secret by putting him in the girls' locker room and stealing his handbook, see? Then, Mondo did all that to keep the promise he'd made to Chihiro, who he'd also killed? <coughs> Why would he do that? The more I hear you talk, the more I don't understand. I mean, you guys trusted each other, right? So why? Why did you... Because, no matter what, I didn't want anyone to know. I knew it. So that's what's triggered it, after all. The possibility of having your embarrassing memories and secrets exposed. What? What is this? Th that's impossible. Nothing could have been that bad. Something he didn't want anyone to know, even if it meant killing someone? You're wrong! It's impossible! Don't make me repeat myself. How many times must I repeat myself? To judge others by your own standard is the height of folly. Even if you can't comprehend it, he obviously can. That's all there is to it. <laughs> well, while we're on the subject, why don't I tell you? That embarrassing memory, that secret he didn't want anyone to know. Hey, um... You know what Mondo did? He killed his own brother. Okay. I wasn't expecting that, actually. Mondo, the ultimate biker gang leader, makes all the hoodlums and riffraff across the country tremble. But the only reason he had the chance to join a gang in the first place was because of a certain someone. <laughs> Mondo's older brother's name was Daya Owada. Mondo had nothing but respect for him. It was because of Daya that Mondo ever got on a motorcycle. Mondo's brother was his own family growing up. He was the only one Mondo could trust or respect. He wanted to measure up to his big brother, so he imitated him in everything he did. Mondo was the epitome of the starry-eyed kid brother. Meanwhile, the charismatic older brother had put together a local motorcycle gang. And before anyone knew it, it had grown into the biggest biker gang in the country. Daya, the older brother, number one in the gang, and his number two, his younger brother, Mondo. In the beginning, everything was peaches and gravy. But when Mondo started to think about how he would have to take over the gang from his brother someday, his brother's greatness, his reputation, began to gnaw on Mondo's very soul. The kid's gonna take over for Daya, huh? Daya created this gang with his bare hands. Mondo's just along for the ride. 
Can someone like that really be our leader? All that'll do is make the gang look bad. <laughs> Almost every day, Mondo heard the gossip and whispers of the other members of the gang. Which is why... I... I just... I gotta get stronger. Stronger than Daya. Once. Just one time. No matter what, I gotta win. Don't fuck with me. I don't care what it takes. I gotta come out on top. And on the night of his amazing brother's retirement ceremony, Mondo challenged him to a street race. But during the race, tragedy struck. The kid brother pushed ahead with reckless abandon, eager for victory, and dashed into oncoming traffic. But suddenly... Oh, so he didn't, like, murder him, murder him. Okay. Laying in his kid brother's arms, the older brother delivered his final words. M my bad, kid. I fucked up. Sorry. Of course, he knew it was his brother's fault, but Daya never blamed him for what happened. Hey, kid. The rest is up to you, no matter what. You gotta keep the gang together. Cause it's the team. You and me put together. It's a... A promise. Between men. <laughs> he decided to decide the truth of what happened from everyone else in the gang. In order to keep the gang together and keep the promise to his brother. He could never admit to anyone that it was his own weakness that had caused the accident. And as a result... The team was made even stronger under the banner of the kid who'd bested his big brother. Daya was gonna lose to his kid brother, so he got stupid and got himself killed. That became the explanation for what happened. Mondo's lie became the truth. He wanted to lead the team so bad, he was willing to tell all kinds of lies about his brother. I... I just... I'm strong. <clears throat> strong, 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 strong. And yet... Soon as our killing game began, he realized, no matter how tough he pretended to be, he was just another weakling that could die in an instant. <laughs> and then the lovely, the hateful Monokuma announced the revealing of the embarrassing secret. At that point, it was clear I would have no problem shedding light on his secret. Mondo killed his own older brother. No, no matter what, I couldn't let the other gang members find out. If that happened, everything would have been ruined. Everything me and my brother had worked to create would have been destroyed. His death, all the guilt I'd been carrying around, it all would have been for nothing. So that's why... I... That's why I... I... I Mondo... <laughs> After I saw what Monokuma had on me, my head filled up with a kind of fuzzy uneasiness and just started swirling around. I'd never felt anything like it before. I... I... I just... I didn't know what to do about it. I wasn't sure what to think or say, but after a while, that uh, fuzzy uneasiness... <laughs> turned itself into a rock-hard lump of anxiety, way down in my stomach. And it was right around then... That Chihiro asked me to start working out with him. And right there, I... He told me a secret. Uh, Seriously? Jesus. Uh, I'm y sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry I lied to you. Yeah. But why? Why now? Why are you telling me this all of a sudden? Huh? Huh? Because, uh, I mean, you've kept that secret all this time, right? If anyone found out, you would... But... Y you're right, but... I want to change. 
I wrapped myself in lies. I'm weak. I want to destroy that version of me forever. His words were like a knife in my gut. I felt like he was exposing the lie I'd been living myself. I have to change. I don't want to be weak anymore. You're so strong. It can't hurt you, right? Whatever secret Monokuma might tell us? You piece of... So what? You're saying I should just say it? Why? You're saying what? if I really am, I should just be able to tell everyone my secret? Huh? Huh? I was jealous. I was jealous of Chihiro's strength. He had the strength to face his own weakness, to try and overcome it. It was the kind of strength I'd never had. So I was jealous of him. And that jealousy broke me. What? Are what? you making fun of me? I'm strong? Are you fucking with me right now? No! I I'm not making fun of you. You really are strong, Mondo. I felt like I could hear something starting to creak. Something inside my head. What did he want me to do? What was I supposed to do? Was I supposed to just sit back, let my secret get revealed, and ruin everything? What's wrong? D damn you! Why did you have to tell me all that? Are you trying to rub my failure in my face? I... I just wanted to... No, I just really admire you. I admire your strength. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I am strong. Strong. I'm strong. Strong, 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 strong. Stronger than you. You son of a bitch. And stronger than Daya. I don't remember anything after that. When I woke up again, he was laying at my feet, covered in blood. I had the dumbbell in my hand, and I was just staring at him, down on the ground. <laughs> hey! I... killed I... him. Okay, I wasn't sure if I was gonna finish that. I killed Chihiro. Even after all this time, I'm still just as weak as I've always been. And thanks to that, I did something I can never take back. Mondo. He was normally so aggressive, so angry. He hid that weak side away from everyone. That was his secret. A weakness like that lived in a heart like his, and it turned him cold-blooded. God damn it. <laughs> Look at you. See him? You're all just like him. For a secret from the past. For a memory. For that, he killed another living human in cold blood. He couldn't cut free of his regrets from the outside world. He doesn't know what true strength is. Do you see hope anywhere in there? Cause I sure don't. You bastard. Just shut up, you son of a bitch. Go ahead, say that again. I dare you. Yep. Okay, I'll say it as many times as I want, is what I want to say, but... <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't do that right now, because the time for punishing is fast approaching. P punishing It can't be. You mean, execution? Well now, well now, well That's now, That's what well I promised now. you, right? The blackened that disturbs the peace will be punished. Ridiculous. H hold on. Now then, I prepared a very special punishment! For Mondo Awada, the ultimate bike gang, biker gang leader! N no wait, wait! Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! I said wait! Sorry, ma'am. I couldn't keep the promise we made. From one man to another. Oh, I wonder if he promised not to kill anyone. Oh no, what is it gonna be? It's gotta be biker related. Okay. 
Oh my god, Monokuma has the hair too. Gosh, the motorcycle in the cage of death. A classic. entirely sure what just happened. I think the whole cage got electrocuted, maybe. Mondo is gone. Oh, he's been turned into butter. That was a cute drawing. Um... That was less brutal than the first one, I think. You'll laugh at death and your soul will forever be at peace. It can't be. My brother. Another murder and another execution. I want to feel again. Everyone's lives are taken so lightly here. I feel like I might be going mad. Maybe I'll just let it happen. Uh-oh. As Taka's sad screams invaded our skulls, we were each forced to realize once again. But he, of course, he had to. <laughs> what a disappointment. This is the end of the game. But Hyakuya? You're completely insane. You know that? A game? One of our friends is dead. Do you realize that? Naturally. Actually, two of them are. Of course I do, because this game is life or death. Hey. I don't have anything to say to you. I don't have a response, except that. However. I just don't understand why. Why did you go out of your way to disguise Mondo's crime? What? Why? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? because it made things more interesting. His voice was calm, emotionless, like the voice of death. It chilled me to the bone. <laughs> Last night, when the murder took place, I was in the library as usual. Honestly. So you ignored the nighttime rule too? <laughs> that rule never mattered to me. I don't recall agreeing to it. There is nothing to be done. Well, I don't particularly care. Please continue. The night grew late, and I decided to return to my room, which is when I stumbled upon him. <laughs> I spotted Mondo coming out of the girls' locker room. After he'd gone, I looked inside and saw the corpse. What? What? You mean you actually witnessed the murder? <laughs> he was such a fool. He didn't have the slightest idea that I'd seen him. Well... So, you're saying you knew who the culprit was from the very beginning? That's right. Indeed. But if that had been the end of it, how boring would that have been? I mean, what a waste of time to have the answer revealed right at the beginning. <laughs> Which is why I decided to lend a little helping hand. I thought it would liven things up. You did all that to liven things up? I see. So, after hearing about Genocide Jack from Toko, you decided to use that to create the fake murder scene? But... But, damn, man, if we hadn't figured out who'd really done it, you would have been dead too, right? <laughs> well, obviously I would have revealed the truth before it reached that point. Of course. Fiakia turned and looked me in the eye. I could feel his sharp eyes piercing into me. <laughs> Thanks to a certain remarkable someone, it never did, and I was able to perform an interesting experiment. <laughs> Once I do decide to become blackened, I now know who I'll have to watch out for. What? Correct. So that was your reason. <laughs> Are 
Are you satisfied? Indeed. Yes, we're done listening to your story. Moving on. Hey. There's something I'd like to ask Monokuma. What's this? Oh, I'm up next. You. You like to perform these elaborate executions each time, correct? My question is, why? <laughs> Do you like them? But you know, this punishment, this despair, it's not just for you. <laughs> all this punishment, all this despair is my gift to mankind itself. What? You're over-exaggerating. I am not over-exaggerating. These punishments are meant to just transform all hope to despair. Damn. What do you mean? Huh? Mean? 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 What the heck? Mean, 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 mean! Good grief! I don't understand why you have to pick apart every little stupid thing! Hm, whatever. It doesn't matter. In the end, I'm going to stand alone as the victor, and then everything will be revealed to me. Ah, the noble son of a noble family. Truly you understand me. Hoo hoo hoo, I think this is the start of a terrifying friendship. That's enough. Shut up. I would never stoop to the level of a childish criminal like you. Let me just say this. After I've achieved com complete victory, you're up next. I'm going to find you and kill you. Understand? In the name of my family. In the name of the Togami family, for which victory is a foregone conclusion. You're getting all riled up! Ooh, so cool! It's like you're the main character of a video game or something. No trash mob for you! I swear, whatever it takes, I will kill you. <laughs> temper, temper! Sounds like someone needs a nap. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't think that that whole story description was gonna take so long, but it did. Monokuma's laughter peeled across the courtroom, and the curtain closed on the case of Chihiro and Mondo. But I knew that wasn't the end. The killing game would still continue, because the mastermind wouldn't let it end. For those of us who were still alive, our worst fear and despair kept on multiplying. It was the kind of despair that felt like a blind puppy in hell had more of a future than us. All of our courage, our effort, our friendship, it felt like it amounted to nothing at all. It was the worst kind of despair. Well, anyway, like I was saying, this is a pretty good spot. Yeah, a really good spot. Anyway, isn't it amazing how that girl went and killed someone before things even had a chance to get boring? Once things really get moving, it'll be like a roller coaster. There won't be any stopping it. Fear and despair charge forward at a speed nothing can hope to match. But I must admit, I'm disappointed. I went to all the pain and effort of making you part of the group, and you couldn't play your part. You do remember you were supposed to make the first move, right? What? Well, no biggie. Nothing we can do about it now. So just do your best to make things more Oh no, no, I'm gonna be okay? so suspicious. There's someone in there who is a baddie. It makes me think that it's freaking Kyoko because she's the ultimate question mark. After all, that's what everyone wants to see. There's one thing I'd like to ask you. As long as you don't want to know my measurements, fire away. Who is it? The 16th high school student, I mean. Ooh, ooh. My, my, you really took me by surprise there. I know I said you could ask anything, but... Super denied, ultra denied, demonic denied. Because you see, that's my ace in the hole. And nobody'd be dumb enough to reveal that, right? No matter how close they were to their friends. <laughs> oh, this is so interesting. All right, 
chapter two is donezo. Uh, I really didn't know how long that was gonna go on, but it looks like we're just getting an almost hour long episode. Only 10 people left. I'm so sad it was Mondo, you guys. I liked Mondo so much, and I was so stoked on maybe Byakuya dying. <laughs> But he didn't, so, oh well, I guess. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, this has been super good. I'm so excited, especially with that uh, scene we just saw between Monokuma uh, and whoever that was. So uh, I guess we'll see what happens next. I'm really excited to start chapter three and see where it's gonna go. There, I, there's so many mysteries happening right now. Ah, anyway, I guess uh, we'll see you in the next one uh, once again. You guys are great. Like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate it. And goodbye.